I'm the guest. All right, we got the one and only fucking Julian, the actress Durant. The actress. Yes. See, that's where we got a little <laughs> problem because I speak, I speak Spanish, right? And when you say the tra at the end, yeah. it's, it's, it means feminine. So you're going to say actro or you say nothing. You say actor. Is this I don't true? want you is saying this, actress. Is this, is this is this true? It's true. Hector, is this true? <laughs> yeah. Let's not get into this. I don't want to. I don't want to correct our guests right off the bat. I just don't need <laughs> you saying. It's not I, a good look. I'll tell you right it's now. Not a good look. I'll tell you right now. I ain't no actress. You no know, actor. I might fuck a badass actress. A couple of them. I got them on the fucking uh, roster. A couple on the roster, on the roster huh? Shit, oh yeah, for sure. And uh, we got special guest. Well, like surprise guest. Surprise hey, look, guest. If the first string is acting up. Yeah. I ain't hesitant to call in the second string. <laughs> you know what I mean? It ain't no problem, so. All right, let's blaze up real quick. All right, hit it. Let's yeah. say that here. All right, time to get into this. Oh, fucking hell. I forgot I don't blaze. Get the fuck out of here, this I don't, guy. Oh, I'll try it. <laughs> Me and Julian go back, like, 2016. And, uh, I was just gonna ask, you mind giving me some backstory here about so this is what's like going on? Right when I came out of prison, I met Julian because I took this job. The at, best at time, Bruce Street. best time to meet Armand. Right Dude, after yeah, prison. the worst time, the worst <laughs> oh, time. God. The mu- the most aggressive version Seriously. of me was then was like the most retardation. I remember I just beat up some kid in the kitchen or some shit, and then I I just met this kid, and then we realized like we have friends in common. Yeah, we're we like had in a the bunch same of friends Persian group. friends in common, and I just needed some darts. So I'm like, yo, Armin, let me get some darts, right? I would just be smoking darts with Armin, and they thought I was, like, security at the place. Right, right. So guys were like, how can I get in? And I'm just like, nigga, I'm already banned. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> working at nightlifes, <coughs> it's like an inn. What do you think? It's It was, like, super easy to fuck some of the... Yo, some yeah. of the waitresses that, like, you guys were trying to fuck? Yeah. Like... We like some of the kitchen staff that were making fifteen bucks an hour. They already fuck them. You know what I mean? So for instance, between me and all the light skinned niggas in Vancouver, Coquitlam area, yeah, we already like, fucked there, all of them. There's like what fifty the of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only like fifty of you cats yeah, yeah. out there. No, we fucked them all already, yeah. right? But the certain ones I was trying to fuck, they might not try to fuck me because they might be hella. They they might be the girlfriend of my brother or like say like my my cousin. That's and the only like, exception. Yeah, hold on, so hold on. Like, tell us, tell us who your brother is. My brother, he's cool. My brother's actually like a family man, a cool kid. He he uh he plays ball for uh, Hamilton uh, Tiger Cats. Oh shit, really? Yeah, he used to play for BC and shit. But Damn. it was cool when he was playing for BC, you know, because he, he was here in our hometown, so we could all right, right, it, right. Yeah, that was dope. It's awesome. crazy, cause Julian, Julian, how tall are you? A good uh, five ten, five eleven. Yeah, five eleven. Like I'm almost six. Yeah. And, like Lamar's about six three. Shit. So it always made me feel like I'm hella tall. But then when you put me beside my brother, <laughs> then I'm not that tall anymore. Bro, I remember yeah. seeing Lamar for the first time. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I was in grade nine. I was playing uh, senior ball, and uh, I I saw this cat. He was like two forty, six mm. two, six three in grade twelve. And I was like, who big, is this guy? Big that nigga boy. was windmill dunking <laughs> who, in grade eight, bro. Who, <laughs> who kidnapped fuck? some kid yeah. from fucking Alabama? <laughs> Like, because this guy's not from here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's pretty much the same thing, because, like, our dad's family is from Oklahoma, and our mom's family is white, like, from Britain. Yeah. And so, like, uh, we are half, like, fucking them down south ass niggas. Like, we could be related to Kevin Durant. We just don't care to look up the answer tree or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, my grandma will be like, yeah, Kevin's our nephew or some shit, but I'm not even trying to look up the fucking tree.com. You know what I'm saying? That's so, the thing, dude. Yeah. That's the difference between black guys and Indian guys. Yeah. Indian guys will live like 20 per fa- per fucking household, and they'll just like have a comp- uh, have a family car. They'll ha- they'll like share like three beamers and shit. Mm. And that's how like they move the up. same house, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but, dude, even my culture, bro. I don't think like if I was related to somebody famous, I wouldn't even want like any kind of anything out of them. Well, I'd the problem was is I w- he was related to someone famous. But okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan, you be careful, dog. He, uh, he, he had a second thought there. What do you mean? He there. got me to pass him the joint yeah. to just pass <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. was that? Yeah. So what happened? I I, I'll, 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 ex- I'll explain that. I'll explain mm. that. I'll explain that. What was that? Uh, it was the the shrooms. There's it comes in waves. Yeah, you know this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Shrooms. The shroom hit doesn't hit you like right away. It hits you in waves, and then at one wave, one low wave, he's like, "Yo, I'll, I'll hit that," uh, and then and then the the high wave hit him. He's like, "Yo, fuck all that shit. Yeah. I'm out." He's like, I want it. Yeah, I don't yeah. want it. Remember when we were on shrooms on empty stomachs? No way. We oh, were bro. we were out by on his balcony, yeah. trying to grill. 
Oh man! <laughs> and we're waiting for the barbecue to heat up, Bro. and all of a sudden my my knees start shaking. Bro, <laughs> if like, you hit the shrooms empty, it's just full charge. I'm like, bro, don't, <laughs> God, I don't feel so like, good. It's like. You, you, you feel like you're about to puke or some shit. You're about so to bad. pass the fuck out. It was out. so bad. I'm it like, was... yo, look, I got this girl pregnant, and it felt like I was on shrooms the whole time. What do you mean? So, like, as soon as she was pregnant, I knew I wasn't going to have the baby. Because, like, I got her pregnant, <laughs> but she was not the one for me. Okay. You know okay, I mean? okay, so, okay. So, okay. I was like, I tried to I tried to fight through. And for the for the grace of God, I'm like, yo, no, you know what? I have a baby. It's going to be cute. It might be, it might be mixed. It might be cute. So I'm like, let me just try to have this. Mm. And then she was acting out of pocket, bro. She started getting at me all foul. Yeah. You know, she started hitting me up just saying, I'm not good enough to do this and that. I'm like, I just woke up, bitch. I'm good enough to fucking tell you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then uh, she's like, so we're not going to have the baby. I'm like, fair enough. That's what I was thinking, right? So we didn't have that baby. But I'd be like, God damn, because I wouldn't mind having a little nigga no matter what. How, Julian, how old are you now? I'm not going to say that on camera, Nick, because uh, I play the role, because I'm an actor, right? So okay. I play the role of 19 to 29 on my script. That's right. smart. And I'm out. I'm doing auditions for all the top shows here. Mm. So I'm going to tell you what I'm about, and they fuck with it. Yeah. But they're not going to let me sit here and be a simp. Okay, so so you're passing yeah. for a 25 to what? Nick, no, 19 to 29. Ni 19 to 29. 29 to 69. <coughs> 29 to 69. 69 to 96. <laughs> you, know, you know that. You Whatever know. the role requires, he's in. No, no, no. Yeah. This, this goes, relates to, to, to some old school mentalities. Like, maybe our parents or some shit, they're like, man, by the time I'm 29 or, or 30 or some shit, I want to have a kid. You ever okay, think so like that? Well, imagine to the point, it's not true, but imagine to the point a sibling was having cool, a kid. Let's go, let's hold on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're good. Uh, a kid, do you want a dart? No, no, he's Sid. Is it cool? Oh, come on, Ashtray. Cool. Yeah, I yeah. thought, see, I thought y'all both were niggas were like half black. But then he said he's Spanish and he said he's fucking Puerto Rican. Bro, I mean, Puerto, Puerto, <laughs> Puerto Rican. Nice. When you go to the bathroom in a club mm. or a bar, yeah. when you go to the stall, there's a toilet roll. So say you were using the toilet roll for blowing your nose or going to the bathroom. Or doing Why the fuck does it need to be a flat surface perfectly for blow? In, in, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, As a mechanical a, engineer, yeah. I can answer this question. I can tell you this. These are not toilet paper rolls. These are Coke surfaces. On hundred percent, that's what it's <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah, so, I've seen I mean, the drawings. You can go around downtown. Yeah. And uh, you can just come with nothing on you and hit up all those rolls, mm. and there's enough Coke on there that you could get high for the night. So what what does it feel? Uh, I didn't do that. That, that would be crazy sure. if I did that. But I did it. Okay, <laughs> that's what I do, man. No, I'm just. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You just out yourself. <laughs> yeah, right just, I've been told. <laughs> All right. Okay. Like maybe one bump. You, you yeah. got me. You, you got me. <laughs> yeah. Couple of bumps here and there. Long time ago, me and my buddy went to uh, Brian Jessel, and this guy came with like a suitcase and two cats, like super sus. When was yeah. this? Like how long ago? 2017, 2018. Oh yeah, because they they didn't police that back then. And they fucking, uh, they're like, yeah, we're trying to buy a car cash. <laughs> a car straight cash. <laughs> yeah. So bro. what did they have? Just hundreds? They, they had like 200 grand. Yeah. They just came through yeah. with a suitcase? And <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah. And like the, the guy had like two other dudes with him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like as like bodyguards it's or something. It's just shit. like a fucking, are they filming a scene or what? Bro, I swear. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, where's the director here? <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, action. Yeah. Like, what kind of sick, bullshit like, is yeah, this? Yeah. I want to see that. Man, we should get that, uh. That, that tape from Byron Jessel and just that scene one of the mob. Bro, right. but like you can't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I think uh, a, a lot of people I know that like have a lot of cash in the bank, they got to like let the bank know like three or four days I'm in advance. I'm getting to the point where I just want to drive the E, I just want to drive the motherfucking Prius. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of nigga that want to pull up in the Escalade, I'm so sick, nigga. Mm. Oh, da, 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 and I'm getting it, it out, nigga. Weak. I pull up in that motherfucking Prius because niggas know I got paper. Yeah. So it ain't about out here trying to look at this guy, man. It's saving the environment over here. Yeah, man. Like environment, wants to save environmentalist, the environment, man. philanthropist. I ain't gonna be in the Tesla because you. Yeah, yeah. Would you Tesla. go to Africa and like uh, work no. in one of those camps for like two <laughs> no. weeks? No. Dude, he stopped you right. You said Africa before you could finish cup. No. He's like, no. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, nigga. I ain't that kind that. of nigga, dog. Go to Africa. <laughs> I'll be there. I wouldn't know what to do. They might just. Look, bro, if I go to Africa, even yeah. I could ask my dad, yo, Africa, hey, Blake, if I go to Africa, I don't even know anything. Yeah. I'm black, but if I go to Africa, I'm not that kind of nigga, bro. Yeah. There's like, African-ass niggas. You could ask a nigga here from, like, Burnaby, and they'll be like, I go to Africa because I'm from Africa, <laughs> but I'm not. That's yeah. what happened. Do, yeah. do you know the story of Liberia? 
No, what's, what's that's story? literally what happened. So, <laughs> Liberia is a nation created by African Americans that got sent to Africa. Yeah. Because there was a movement that's saying we should go back to our motherland. So, the U.S. was like, okay, fuck it. We're going to send you guys there, create a, a country. And then, uh, guess what happened? Civil War. <laughs> Jesus. Right See, away. I don't know. I'd just be like, okay, put 10 black niggas in a ring versus two, <laughs> 10 white niggas. Who's going to win? <laughs> you know who's going to win, so don't even try to front, nigga. If only. <laughs> How high are you guys right now? <laughs> no, you, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're ripped. <laughs> because you know what? We went to Kitts Beach to yeah. a birthday party. Yo, buddy. Okay, this one, I know my guy's capping, right? Because every time we don't want to link up, he's like, I'm going to a birthday party. I'm like, how many birthday parties do you fucking got, dude? <laughs> yeah. But then this time, he's like, I went to a Christmas party. And I'm like, bro, what? now I know you're capping, bro. A Christmas Hold on. Party. How did he even yeah. say that without, like, breaking July? character? Cause, I Christmas don't know, I in July. Him, I caught him on signal. He said it on signal. And I'm like, Christmas? And then I saw him in person. And I was like, Christmas? And he was like, oh, yeah, all the COVIDs lined up in a row made this the Christmas I was like, all right. Bro. All I'm talks like this. Yeah, so I just dipped. I <laughs> was just that guy high? Yeah. 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 No, he gave, us a, he gave us a couple shots of uh, tequila. What was that called? It was Mescal? Like, uh, it was called Snow Queen. That's some potato shit. It was from uh, oh, Kangaskhan or whatever. You know the the, the, Borat. Alley, the, the yeah. Borat guy. It was from mm. that country. He gave us that to drink after he lied and said he's going to a Christmas party. Well, here's the other thing. You said you messaged him on Signal? On Signal? Yeah, I that's kind of like, that's kind of sus right there. <laughs> no, because you know what? Otherwise, he won't even respond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's listen, super listen, sus. Listen, 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 this listen. guy only responds listen. on Signal? <laughs> There's, Jesus. Every app has like a demographic yes, that uses the 100%. app. Yeah. Signal is one of those apps that's like... His, his as name, a person, the, the you're name, just sus. If, the, you have a, yeah. if you have a Signal fucking number, you're like sus as it is. <laughs> the guy's name is Samuel. Shit, just out of <laughs> this guy. Help? <laughs> <laughs> That's his on-screen name. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, bro. He lost a lot in Cardano, though. Yo, oh, what, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you think of this? Uh, do you think that this culture is uh, healthy? Like to be in the social media culture? What do you, you think know, of that? Uh, I think this, man. I think if you want to be in the game and you want to be smart and shit, you got to be in the game. But you can't just be capping and saying, "Oh, I do this in the game," and da, 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 and you ain't actually doing that shit. It's like a lot of niggas come on and they're like, yo, bro, I'll tell you this about acting. I'll tell you this about rapping. I'll tell you this about this. But they don't actually know shit. How, how did you get into acting? Uh, okay, so way back in the day, my homie that died, Juma, uh, he brought me to extra work. Okay. So just like I was living out here in the Tri-Cities, yeah, and yeah. I just went to extra work with them a couple times. And I went hella, though. And I was like, there was a way that you can go from extra work and maybe getting into acting. Right. But then I, it doesn't really happen. Pretty you rare. just do extra work. Yeah, okay. So then I just never did it for a long time. And then when I got older, I was doing rapping and shit. And then I was like, oh, let me just try to be an actor. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck all this extra work for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. There's no way I'm going to do this nine an hour and try to just, like, maybe make my shine. Mm. That ain't going to do it. So I'm like, <laughs> how do you become an actor? So then I did that with the top acting bitch and shit. And she told me how to do it. Right, right. So then so you never got, went to school or nothing. You just like no. She she got me the 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 best agent. Oh, that's like, sick. I linked up with hella agents. I linked up with like 10, 15 agents, and we just chatted. And then uh, there was no vibes cracking. But then I went to the best best agent, and I didn't have to show them no acting ability, nothing. I was just chatting with them, yeah. and they were just vibing. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, you're on. And then like I've been rocking with them. That's sick. Yeah. How long ago was that? That was like a few years ago. Five years ago. Nice. And then I started. Then they said, "Hey, look, bro, because I did an audition and I didn't know how to act." And they're like, "Bro, <laughs> you, you need to start doing classes." So then I did classes for like three years. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So you are formally trained. Yeah, That's we were training training in like um, uh, drama academy. Yeah. Okay. So we didn't do like a we didn't go to like a school and register, but we were training with the high acting coaches that trained the other guys on set for the major. Films. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You ever done? You ever done like stage? We we're stage doing work? theater. We we're That's doing Shakespeare. Crazy. All that. That shit's like tough. Mad as long fun. Shakespeare. Yeah. Live audience, no retakes. Like like fifteen pages Shakespeare, yeah. remembering off the brain. And there's no retakes. <laughs> yeah, yo, in the class, if I, I did it, I ripped it once, and then I came back. I smoked some bud, and I did it. And he's <laughs> like, "Why are you just worse than last time?" <laughs> <laughs> do you do you ever think of uh, settling down, Julian? Or you how how long you want to rock this for? Okay, so at this point right now... He's taking auditions. 
I'm taking auditions for Weiss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Do you have but, a preference? You got preferences? Like I like Koreans. I got reasons. You yeah. like Koreans? You fucking see, love, I love Koreans. Koreans. I'm not see me, I'm not a thirsty guy and I don't just go fuck any girl or whatever. I gotta have a connection with her. Like on a mentality level. Mm. So I go live a lot of life and I do a lot of things and maybe I might hook up with a girl here and there or whatever, right? But I'm not out there trying to just hook up with girls. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but like how are you gonna find this chick? Um, because <laughs> if the chick is, <laughs> I'm not looking for the chick. That's how I'm gonna find her, because I'm not looking for her. I don't want a chick. I'm chilling. I want to make sure my family and everyone's all set. Yeah. And the, the chick's gonna come when she comes, you know what I mean? I had some before, but it just, it wasn't enough for me to say, all right. It wasn't enough for me to justify for me to settle down. Okay. You know cause, I mean? cause settling down for me, man, yeah. it's like, I, I, I don't even think you can do that here. You are settled. Bro, you this is as settled down as you will get. Every time I saw him in the, in, the, in the bar, when I first met this guy years ago, I used to just go to the bar and shit. And I was reckless, eh? Hey? I was acting a damn fool, huh? Dude, this guy was retarded. I was, like, yeah, I was acting a fool, like, you know? It worked out sometimes, and, and for the most part, yeah, it worked yeah. out. It, it worked was, out 80% of the time. It worked out 80% of the time, but the 20 that it was not working out was something you never want to see. Catastrophic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But every single time, he was trying to wife up one of the waitresses. Not surprised. Or the bartenders. Pri fresh Dude. out of prison, Armand was a different yeah. beast in so many ways. Dude, just the fucking... The, uh, the fucking pussy, man. The, the I ain't even gonna put. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say what he was saying to me. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I was going through some yeah. ridiculous. He'll, he'll come up to me and be like, "Yeah, this or whatever." Yeah, you sure. already know because yeah, you're I a know. boy. So yeah. yeah, but I ain't gonna be like, "Yeah, he said this or that." Exactly. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> I was chilling. Yo, what do you think of this me too shit? Like, you think it's uh, oh, you yeah. think it's good Let's or bad? Get into that. Um, so. <clears throat> Okay, so check this out. If we're going to talk about Me Too, then think about all this shit they're trying to teach to the kids, all this shit they're trying to brainwash us with, all this stuff. I don't even got to say what it is, but check this out. So I know what's going on in the game. So they're trying to say, all right, this Me Too. Now, if you're being a badass, foul dude, and you did some shit, then it's a Me Too automatically. That's mm. been Me Too. That you don't got to put a fucking uh, whatever. If you're just kicking it, then you're just living life, dude. So yeah. for me, it ain't really a factor. But for me, what is a factor is I want my nieces and nephews and stuff to grow up in a world where they're not told to be open to some weird shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, just be a normal ass person and live life how we were living. We were fine. Yeah. We weren't getting into anything foul, bro. We were kicking it. <laughs> uh, yeah. no, sometimes. We, no, no, but I'm saying it sometimes. wasn't, it was, it wasn't no shit where they're like, it wasn't no shit where they're like, you got to do this or you're canceled. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That cancel shit, like, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say my part for it, man. I don't think it's, uh, I think at a certain point of time, if you're fucked up, mm -hmm. like, karma's going to get you. And some sometimes some of these guys, like, fucking Cosby and shit, like, sometimes it's good. But other times it, it goes overboard. See, and I me, think right now it, it's gone, like, way over. We've, like, overcorrected. It needs to correct the other way. Yeah. It, so it needs to, like, go back to regular Did shit. Right now. Did you guys grow up watching the Cosbys? No. A little bit here and there. Okay, so then, look. TBS. Bro, you, work, I, you watch the Cosbys? TBS, you're not, you're not black. What do you watch? TBS. Come on, man. It's hey, classic. Look, look. I was I was watching the Cosbys by default. I wasn't trying to watch the Cosbys. But I was watching Cosbys from when... I existed to start. Yeah, of course. Until I was about like fucking like 18 or 15. It was just still on there tough. Yeah. Like it was like Fresh Prince. You're going to see Cosby's. You're going to see Fresh Prince. You're going to see Full House. It was just on there. You're going to see yeah. Simpsons. So Cosby wasn't a thing that you would think of anything foul about. You would think, okay, Cosby's no. a good ass man. Yeah, you think Dr. he's like Cosby. Mr. Rogers or some shit. Dr. Man. Hustable. He yeah. was like the fucking Phil Banks of, of the Huxtable show. Bro, he was the he was a father figure, bro. Yeah. And then uh he, well, yeah, he swear he, to God, he, he was, was America's father dad. He yeah. had yeah. a show. He had a show called like the kids say the darnest things. Mm. And he would put little kids yeah. on his lap and tell all these yep. jokes like a Santa Claus type nigga. Yeah. And no I don't think his. I don't think. I don't yeah. think his. Me too was kid. It was more no, like. No, but I'm saying chicks. with all that in in mind, I saw him as like the fucking the grandpa of like fucking America. Jesus, Jesus yeah, of blacks, like yeah. the grandpa of Jesus sweater blacks in the states. That's a nigga. That's a good man, and you'd be a doctor hustable. Yeah, you know. And I I never wanted to go to doctor school. Yeah. But I'll tell you this: I did want to be doctor hustable with the sweaters at an old age with money. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Why yeah. not? You feel me? Um, Phil Banks. You know why they call them? Dr. Phil. Okay, check this out. Phil Banks on the on on the Will Smith show on the on the Fresh Prince, Fresh yeah. Prince of yeah. uh, of uh, Jada slapped him out. Yeah. <laughs> so then, because if if he's slapping Chris Rock, then maybe Jada told him he's gonna slap her. Yeah, didn't they just break up right now? Do they break <laughs> up like every other month? Bro, it's like, not news. Yo, is this guy the biggest cockled in fucking mankind history or what? Not mankind history, but public eye for sure. Dude, he he literally made himself look like a bitch. You know what I think? I'm an actor. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> that's not a real scenario. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you think that, that was that that was played no up? Real scenario. That was played up for press? That was just a scene. Mm. Ready, set, action, and now go do the fucking things. And it looked just, played out. Nigga, that ain't no real shit. Come on. So you, you, you think it was just like to... Is that if he would have slapped me, oh, he would have <laughs> been in a big trouble. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be sitting there. Uh, Lamar would come me. out of blindside. Fuck yeah, Lamar, <laughs> yeah. Lamar, he would already know not to slap us because yeah. what Lamar would have did after. But I'm just joking about that. But real talk, even if I was a Chris Rock, bro, Chris Rock got mad dudes that ain't going to let niggas slap him like that. I don't know. That's the reason why me mm. and Armin have always been friends from the start because we're like... We're going to come and kill this shit within our own time. And we yeah. saw all those fools doing their thing. And we're like, bro, we just know some other shit. Because mm. we're on a next level shit. Like, uh, is that dog's fault? Oh, that's a dog fucking. Because I felt some shit on my foot. I'm like, <laughs> nigga. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a dog out here <laughs> somewhere. So everything's cool, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, y'all are way over so there. Dogs I'm like, out oh, here. reach your leg that <laughs> Yeah, I was like, man. But, yo, that Son. dog's He's having second yeah, thoughts. Yeah, He's the dogs out here. But uh, yeah, man. So we knew we knew the thing is, a lot of people doubted us. They were like saying like, "Oh, these guys are in their own world or whatever." But like, we just always, me and him always knew right away. I was like, "All right, this is my boy. We're just rocking." Yeah. You know what I mean? There's certain guys you just meet and you're just like, "All right, cool, man. That's mm. my boy. We're rocking." And then the other people are just like, kind of now they're getting hella old, bro. Mm. And I'm still lit. Like, how old are you? I'm 23. Yeah, and me and him just I'm be 23. rocking, bro. Like, mm. I'm younger than him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just playing. This nigga be hella, moving. Nigga got hella it energy. It keeps moving. Yo, we go to the club. Me and Nothing him stops. Rock. Yeah, I'll just turn around, and he made out with all the bitches in that whole area. This guy's like Shit, a fucking dude. honeybee, yeah, man. But he's like, like oh, I made out with them. He didn't even know. Yo, Asians, Asians yeah. surprisingly do well at clubs. It's Actually, a, it's like, yeah, it's the, it's their scene. Like I, I remember when up. I was at it's when I was up, at though, you know, you know, like levels. That's the, that's a pure Asian club, bro. Levels is all Asian. It's like rich Chinese Asians from fucking Richmond. Man, I never been in there. Yo, levels is humongous. It's levels or a celebs mansion, basically. So mm. I, I <laughs> Yo, do you think Biden's actually like Biden, or okay, is he just like so that, low key that, that not, they not do. Him? like a lizard? Yeah, that's that stuff they do. It is what it is, and you know I'm the kind of person that uh, I try to just like I don't see it and I don't do it. So like I'll be like try to wake up in the morning and just go like play some golf and just not look at anything like that. Oh, no news. Well, I try to because like if I can keep focused on my own mind and follow my goals and you know do well and just turn over my money properly and make sure all my family's good i'd rather prefer do that because i wake up in the morning bro and i'll scroll through instagram 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 and i might be there for hours bro, yeah just scrolling down down yeah, yeah. down down and i that's too much information for someone to take in we've talked about that multiple yeah. multiple times yeah i find myself the same way as julian i find uh it's, i get too stimulated i just don't need it and like yeah. the thing i stopped doing is looking at people's stories I don't look at it anymore. Yeah. Like, why am I looking at this motherfucker's life? Like, who cares? If you're trying to look yeah. at, like, a thousand people's lives, like, who gives a fuck what they're doing, bro? It's, it's either so going to be... Huh? It, it, bro, and yeah. it's like, it's, it doesn't have a positive effect. Well, well, it's either negative, yeah. okay, uh, better, like, you feel jealous of them or some shit, yeah. or, like, it's some product. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, buy this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nonsense. It's like, you don't even need that shit. If you took all that time, right, and you read books, yeah, yeah. man, think about how smart you'd be. All the yeah. time you spent on social media, yeah, just read mad books. The thing is, humans aren't evolved to handle a thousand lives. No. We're not, we're not meant to, yeah. like, be in touch with a thousand people. Yeah. We're meant to a couple, a few, a few dozen handfuls, and that's it. And to see all that, that new shit and all that information so fast, yeah. it's, it's not natural. No, it's not. 
it's so, you know, very unnatural. Away. Yeah. You're trying to force a lot of water down on the skinny ass pipe. Fucking Senora's trying to get out of here. Dude, Senora's fucking uh <laughs> she's, baked. she's sneezing out of here, bro. She's I'll fucking get her, I'll get her she's fucked up. <laughs> I'm eighteen. Oh bro, you're retarded now. This is the most retarded you're gonna be for What does that supposed to mean? Like you're 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 gonna it make only gets poor better. decisions. You're right now at this age, you know very little, yeah. but you have so much confidence. And as you age, you start knowing more, but your confidence level goes down because you understand how little you, you know. know. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't mm -hmm. you don't completely you won't completely come into an idea of that concept until you're like into your late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. This, that's some that's a wisdom right there. This in a lot of ways is, is your peak mentally speaking. Not like your intellectual peak or anything like that, but you will never be more sheltered and more aware at the same time than you are right now. Because mm. you're at the age where you're starting to understand some real life shit, but you're also at the age where real life shit hasn't hit you yet. So you have the benefit of feeling like you have a place in the world with the added benefit of it actually not mattering right now. But eventually it will, and that's when shit's going to start hitting you. So I see. what I'm trying to say is enjoy. Enjoy this time right now that you have. Well, brother, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it good. Tell I us. I, I don't think you are. I don't think. Give him a chance. Maybe know, he is. Maybe he's right, enjoying it. Yeah, why do, okay, I want to know. Why don't you think I'm enjoying it? Like, based off this two minute conversation. Okay, so, right now, so, so what, what kind, like, where do you live in Canada? I live in Ontario. Okay, what city? I live in uh, Toronto. Toronto, okay. So tonight, Saturday, you, are you, do you live at home still or you live of course, on your he's own? 17, bro. He's 18. I'm, oh, 18, I'm, my I'm bad. 18, I'm at home. Uh, if you if you expect me to be clubbing or something right now, bro, I'm just not. I'm I'm just tired. No, no, it's not that. I'm just saying, like, uh, what is living to your full potential mean to you can be different than what it means to me. So that's yeah, why so that's why it would be hard for me to give you an expectation of where I think you should be at 18. No, but you just said like just like 30 seconds ago, it doesn't look like you're living your life at the fullest. Like. Because you're on a bagel at 18. We're trying to do like a podcast. That's why we're on here for like material. It's not okay, like. Okay, so then you just contradict. A, it's your it's point. a different. No, 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 it's not. Because it's a, it's a different thing. If because you, go, you judge me for one thing, then you said, nah, I can't judge you because we all have different. I think what he's trying no, to I say, didn't say. I didn't say I can't judge you. I, I you. judge you directly. I judge you directly. But what I'm saying is this. Uh, there's a difference between why we're on Omegle and why you're on Omegle. I'm not judging you. It's just like. If I, when I was 18, I wasn't yeah. trying to, I was trying to like fuck as many girls as I want and make as much money yeah. as I want. I was like super, super hungry. Now, I don't know yeah. if that's what you're doing because I know so little, but what I'm saying is like, I, I wasn't on Omegle and I'm not even successful at this age. So you know you're saying I mean? because I'm on Omegle at 1 a.m., I'm not living my life to the fullest. That's, I should be that, robbed. That's going pretty up. accurate. That's yeah. basically what he's saying. Right or wrong, that is what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. You understood that correctly. It is. I don't even know how to explain how it's wrong because it is, but well, explain it and it. then prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. And, and I mean that like I want you to prove me wrong. Or it's a wrong. Saturday. I have no stress on my mind. I'm chilling. Why not go on a random site where I can do whatever the fuck I want and just chill? You know, I'm not like I could be you know working or whatever, but I have a good I have a good day schedule. I do my work during the day. So at night, I don't have to stay up till like 5 a.m. doing work. When what I do you do chill. for work? Yeah, I'm curious. Do you got your own hustle going or what? Yeah, so I work uh, a part-time job as a warehouse worker. All Plus, right. I'm, doing, um, I'm doing reselling and crypto and all that. Crypto is kind of down, so I can't really say that's my main thing. You but, see, you know, reselling. Like what, FBA um, or what? A oh, no, no, no. Like oh, it's sneakers. Cut. I, I was heavy into the console market when PS5s are going crazy, GPUs were going crazy, GPUs are kind of got down. So, so like it, like street my, hustling, street selling, buying that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craigslist deals, Craigslist flips. So I do that all during the day because at night there's no point. You're not like, why would I want to? What do you? What do you? What night? do you approximately make a month? When I make a month altogether yeah. with all my income, I'd probably make like three to five k. Do you have any? I'm curious. It's not related to his question, really, but do you have any goals in life at all? Hundred percent, I have goals in life. You want to share I wanna, any? I want to retire before thirty. I want to 
I want to, you know, make my parents proud by like fucking you know, pay off the mortgage and, you know, financially a lot of things. And I just want to, I just want to chill, you know? I don't know where not like it's as generic as it sounds. I'm not trying to work in a nine to five and as unrealistic as it may sound retiring before 30. I still have that goal to do it. I respect it. So I respect you're, you're trying to retire by 30. Is that what he said? Yeah. Retire by 30. Yeah. And it's okay, are you, hold on. Hold on. You say this. I can already tell you're making fun of me for saying that. No, bro, not. Because th- this is the kind of guy I am. I'm very confrontational. I'll call you on your bullshit. So yeah, as, are you, are you doing what skills are you doing that you're going to be able to retire by 30? My kid. My guy, what, do you mean? what are you? What, what, skills? what skills are you learning right now that are going to be so valuable uh, that you're going to retire I'm, by thirty? I'm taking. I'm. 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 My time is valuable, so I'm not, you know, wasting a day doing nothing. You know, there's always something I'm doing that's working. To I understand, but what are these certifications or what are these degrees or what are these uh, business ideas or guides that you're networking with? What are you doing that's going to set you up that by the time you're thirty in twelve years you're going to retire? Tell me these things because uh, I'm, I'm interested I mean, in learning. I've already made my I've already made my fair share of connections in the sneaker and this, like you know, you're gonna you're gonna do that when you're 30. No, these connections will help me by the time that I'm 30. You know, set me up. A lot of these guys are so much more richer than I'll ever be. I I promise, but they're gonna help me help me get to the level I want to be at. You know, some of these kids I know it sounds like complete bullshit. They're making 500 k 500k a month. It's crazy. Okay, you know, how many guys I, are making 500k a month in Canada? Not huh? many. How many guys you know that are making 500k a month? Uh, there's a there's a group of like guys, like each and every guy, they're just making more than another, just more than another. You know, the list keeps going on. This, but is 500k I, like a realistic number a month? 500k for me, probably not. Honestly, I just want to retire for 30. You know, just one what's of those. Like, I still have to what's 500k a month in a year? Uh, I don't know, 500 times 12, what? Six, mil- six million. Yeah. I think it's six million a year. Like, these guys will help me out, and they are. They're giving me they're giving me the, the steps I need within, you know, I guess so internally it's by sneaker, the sneaker world, but they're starting to branch out to, you know, real estate is also becoming a big, big thing. And as I progress and get older, you know, I might go out, maybe get a real estate license, see what's that saying. Like, I'm just going to use these guys to help me. Cause, I, I have an interesting question. You, you mind if I... Yeah. Sure. Um, these people that you know that are high net worth, yeah. yeah. What skills did they acquire over time to get to where they are now? What makes people want to pay them X amount of dollars for what they do that they can They're make? Um, They're work- no, no, I'm, looking, no, 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 no. I'm looking for a better answer. Like, you can find millions of people who have crazy work ethic. I, I go back to my dad's home country in Peru. Motherfucker, the guys on the streets have a higher work ethic that than guys true. I've seen so in the corporate see, office, if right? If I were to think about it a bit more, yeah. So what, what, less, what I'm saying is, like, what less, skills do they have? Are they are they in real estate? Like, what what oh, are people okay. paying them there for? Are, a lot of them are, you know, coders. Okay. They're making a lot of their main income is from making uh, bots. In in the sneaker world, bots are a very valuable thing because it helps you acquire you know very large amounts of sneakers without having to manually put all your information in. These bots will. You know, they'll automatically put all your credit card info, everything. So what they've done is they made, you know, they've made these amazing bots that a lot of the sneaker world, you know, not people just in Canada, people in the U.S. Yeah. And the U.S. is you know, it's a big country. There's a lot of people. They've branched out and they've got a lot of people using these bots that they've created. And they're making, I don't know, like how the, the prices work, like, you know, renting bots or buying it or whatever. But like they've made, they amassed a lot of customers through these bots that they've coded. So, so it's all- mainly software. All the guys that you've mentioned, these high net worth guys, these are all sneaker world people. Uh, the 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 people like I guess I know that you know they're, they're more sneaker world. That's okay. what I that's that thing. But they probably you know they know more people that branch into real estate and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of them. They're just tech guys, you know. Yeah. Okay. I, I I've uh, heard. I think. Just I, think I think. I think you're 18 and you're throwing terms out there, but I I. I simply no, call me on my bullshit. I want to know. I, I, I simply don't think you have an actual understanding or grasp on how things work in life. I don't. I don't, but no, I'm trying. I think, I'm I think you're just you're just bullshitting these things. I used to do that too. I used to just say stuff without actually saying anything of substance. Okay, what so you I recognize your patterns. Is not everything. No, 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 it's not it's not that it's bullshit. It's just like if you have any eighteen year old talking, they just sound like they're rambling. 
There's no actual substance. I guess. Thing. I guess that that is what a lot of older people think when they. And another to the teams. thing you do is like you you talk over like you think that what you're saying is ever gonna be of any value. You know what I mean? Like you won't let us kind of finish what we're saying before you jump in because you think no, that what I you no no okay, right, you like just, right now you just, did just it. now you, just you did think it. you, you know something right. that is of more value but you don't you know shit all. i don't you know so little and i don't think that you will ever actually with what you just said if i had to bet on it i would say you would <laughs> never retire by the time you're 30. all right but well, that's just that. that's just how i think but again Maybe, maybe, you know, these guys help you out. The only thing I have a problem with with what you're saying is like, these guys are going to help you out. What is the incentive for them to help you out? Like, why, why, uh, why? Like, I, I've been friends with Hector for fucking 15 years. Hector doesn't yeah. help me financially. I've never even thought about asking him or asking any of my buddies for financial help. What do you mean by financial help? Connections, shit like that. I kind of make my own. I, c I can well, create connections and like create opportunities for myself and work hard at that. But like, I don't have, and even if I have friends in higher places, I never even think about being like, oh, these guys are going to help me out, get, you know, to the next level or some shit. That is a, can I talk now? Yeah, go ahead. That is a uh, respectable opinion. Like, you know, why why are they gonna help me at everyone? You know, and like, what what what's the what's the need for them to? Well, I would just say I put it in the trust I have in their friendship. And I, obviously, that sounds like a such a childish thing to say because, you know, as as time will go, who knows how our friendships will go. But I've known these guys for a while, and at heart, I feel truly they're good guys. You know, and when you when when you brought up how you've known him for 15 years and he hasn't helped you or you haven't thought of asking him financially. Isn't just you and you two doing this podcast together. This can lead to something. You two, this friendship you have, you know, there, that's one thing you've made together. You know. Yeah, but it, I don't. I don't. This is this is like like one, where do you? What, this what, is one avenue of like four or five avenues of things that can prevail. So when I told you, like when I asked you, like what skills are you learning? Like right now, uh, I can name well, five right five now? skills I've been learning for the last. I'd say a good three years where they're going to help me in eight to 10 years. Right. That's not including like, like anything I invest into, like that's just pure skill that you're trying to learn. Now I'm not saying I'm a genius or I'm smart. I think among my friends, the ones that are uh, academics, I'm like below them, but like street dudes that I knew from back in the day, I'm clearly above them. Like academically, mentally, like stuff they say is like, spewed garbage most of the time because <laughs> they party too much right yeah. so, so like how you're talking is a combination of like you being a street guy and also being like uh like a little hustler but like also at the same time you're too young to have substance so it's, i don't i'm not yeah. really blaming you i'm just pointing out things i see yeah. so like don't take it to heart i'll i'll, I'll address I'm, something else actually. i'm all for learning i'm all for learning i'll, I'll address if something else that you mentioned heart, because sorry. he asked you What's the incentive for these people in your circle to help you out, help you reach higher goals, all these things? And yeah. He didn't mean it as, as so much as this as trying to get you to see if there are actually any reasons or incentives. When you brought up the example of why we're doing this together, apart from our friendship, which sure, some could argue is an incentive, but kind of not really. The incentive for me to do this with him or vice versa is that we both have equity in this project that we're doing. So yeah. it's not like one person's benefiting and the other person's not. There's benefit to both of us working together towards this. And you could have used that as an example for you, right? If you just came back and answered him like, yeah, well, you know what? Uh, the guys really respect me because I'm, I'm promising and whatever I'm working in. And, and they say that, you know, I can do big things and that eventually that I'll be helping them or I'll be doing things for them and we'll do projects. That could have been a fair answer, right? But you yeah. just you didn't you didn't come up with that, and that's not to say yeah. that you don't know about it. But you kind of took that question the wrong way when he was just yeah. trying to point out to you like, are there any reasons at all for these people to work with you or help you or etc. I thought of, I thought of it more differently. I could see him, but your answer is also valid, and I see myself being put in that same situation, us put, being put together. I did have a like you know like. Early on, I already used one of the people I know. Yeah. And we did a little startup together. There you go. Right. 
trying to remember what we did. That that was oh, that's yeah. an example right there. There could be more. We did a we did a real estate thing where we were making a website for some realtor, but it was just like a little startup. You don't see how our digital marketing skills are, and we worked on we researched. Then we thought of drop shipping, but drop shipping is very, it's very, it's a weird, sure. it's a weird thing. We, yeah, we got a we got a buddy who's been doing that for some years, and it's, it's a fucking mess. But um, yeah, drop shipping too much. Yeah. Sure, there's an example. You could find more of those examples in the future. As long as you, I don't know, I, jump in at any point here. Don't worry about it. If you feel that you have a plan for what you're going to do, or at least even think that eventually you will develop a plan and you're not just going to fucking freewheel this to get to this magical number of 30 and retire with all this money in your account and you're just going to live off of it, great. Yeah. If you got a plan, then great. Or you think you're going to get towards a plan, fine. But if you just think that it's going to happen because of the way that you've been doing things and you know, you're hustling or you're doing this, you're doing that, and it's just going to happen. A bit unrealistic. And hopefully, I I hopefully you see it, right? Well, that's all. Because you uh, have lofty goals, and I actually do respect you for having that in your head of wanting to retire by 30. But as my boy over here pointed out, some of the shit is just a bit <laughs> like you don't have the answers, and you're not yet okay with accepting that you don't. That marks a sign of someone who's coming into their own and into their own age is understanding that there's things that they have no idea what they're doing and they're okay with that. They don't feel the need to try and pretend that they do know those things. Yeah. I, I, I'm going for the fucking fuck all attitude. I'm just going for it. I think that's a stupid. I know myself. To have. I, I know myself. Like... And if I, if I start acting like I don't know what I'm doing, it just my it comes down to how I, my mentality and i feel like i'm just gonna give up your mentality doesn't through. matter bro in this world you know in a capitalistic world you know what matters skill skill being able to flip something being able to have like one original yeah. skill that nobody else has unless you're yeah. working towards an art like a, you're learning something now right let's say for example uh you're learning to be a mechanic right yeah learning to be a mechanic as an apprentice you make nothing but when you have your own shop you might make forty, fifty thousand dollars a month, right? Yeah. Now, that jump may seem ordinary, but that is like having a plan, right? Having a set schedule, steady thing that I, if I run it to, through that guy and be like, "Hey, what are you doing this year? What are you getting done this year?" He can give me six direct things. Oh, I'm finishing my level three fucking mechanics. I'm gonna be in my level four next year. Another sixteen hundred hours on the job. And then I'm doing my IP. I'm going to get my red seal. He can tell me that. Yeah. Or like an engineer be like, okay, I'm, I'm learning fucking, uh, uh, you know, whatever. I'm learning structural this week. And uh, I'm having my midterms, whatever. And I'm graduating, you know, 2027, right? You yeah. need to have that. Because what you're saying, like this shit about chilling and not giving a fuck, that may sound like the thing that you're supposed to be doing. But honestly, bro, it's couldn't be further away from the truth you should be pushing no, you should right be now. pushing to like go into university learn a skill um that is gonna make you that you can actually do the research and be like okay what's the average median salary for this how many jobs are out there in this you know wherever you live like toronto greater toronto area how many jobs are out there how good does my grades have to be stuff like that not like flipping i don't know you know, the, 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 the problem you don't understand is like when you acquire a skill, like a very valuable skill, like let's say you're a software engineer, okay? Yeah. Out of the general public, only very few percentage of people can be that. And the higher, um, the, lo the, the lower the percentage of people that, of general public that can be this specific uh, career or have that specific skill will determine how much that person gets paid. So if you're a very rare type of person with a very rare skill, you're going to be paid a lot of money, whether 100%. whatever it is. Right. But 100%. from what you're saying is like, I don't I think you need to sit down with like a what the, adv the best advice I can give you right now. Sit down with an actual planner when you're ready and you don't have an ego because you still have this childish. Um, I, I still have it, too. It's not a big deal. I'm just calling you on what you are. Yeah, you, yeah. you have this like male ego thing that you think you're the best and you should you shouldn't have any ego right now you should be a sponge the, the, the way the way you're going about it thinking you know what you're doing you have you have no fucking idea kid i have no idea what i'm doing I you know. have no idea but to think that you do is not the best recognizing that you don't will help you 
And I think you should go with your mom or go with your dad, whoever you're closer with and whoever you think is smarter and go to an actual like counselor, sit down with them and see like what you're good at. If you're going to uni, go to a university counselor. If you're, if you're not going to uni, just get a regular counselor and like do a career planning and see. Cause yeah, I think, yeah. I think if the way you're going about it, I think your schedule is like, honestly, bro, nonsense. That's what I think. But again, my shit's harsh as fuck, but this is how I would want to be talked to. I'd want to be talked to like this when I was 18. I, w- I pray to fucking God I go back. And that's why that's why you get both of us. That's why you get me too. That's why I mean, I'm even wearing a white shirt. I'll talk to you nicer. I'll t- you know I'll tell you that <laughs> your shit's not too crazy. Ah, no, whatever. Everything. You get both of us. So if you think I'm just, you. if you think I'm a fucking idiot and you know I'm too soft, great. You got you got fucking guy over here. And if this guy's mm-hmm. going too hard at you, then you got you got me. So then you got both nah, of us. I respect it. I'm doing my thing. No. I'm trying. That's why you got funny but foul because it's two. But yeah, wait. What is this podcast though? Funny but foul. You want to type that for him? What? Yo, what was your name again? My name? You can call me uh, Uzi. Oh, okay, now I know you're for the streets, bro. <laughs> you're a silly bitch, Uzi. <laughs> you're no, a silly I need, bitch. I, need to my I can't let people know why I am like that. Bro, you're nobody, sis. Let's be honest here. It's funny about foul. Look us up on YouTube, uh, on Insta. You got Insta? Uh, little. No, uh, your, your name is fucking Kyle, dude. How the fuck is the homie who's drinking a cup talking? Oh, <laughs> what the hell? We got cool. a podcast. Hey, we got a fucking bonfire. That's cool. Uh, you it's guys, you guys doing Brokeback Mountain over there or what? Sucking dick and just getting fucked in the ass by each other. Jesus Christ. Hey, nah, hey, the bears are doing all the work. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Mother yeah. Nature at okay. its finest. Yeah. Just, uh, Can you guys introduce yourselves? Can you introduce yourselves at least? Yeah, yeah. They call me Top G and this is the Topper G. Top and Topper. Topper G? Yeah, Top and Topper. Hey, they call me the Topper Topper G. So I'm oh. topping all of y'all. Damn, bro, you're like a bear. So you're basically a power yeah. bottom. I get you're... fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're a fucking power bottom, bro. That's what you are. If you're a topper G, you're a fucking power <laughs> bottom, bro. G. <laughs> hey, Fuck. you guys want to see a forerunner? No. Does that does that is that, that sexual a, or is that a euphemism for something? Yeah. Oh god, dude! I'm gonna say something like a four a forerunner is a car. What the fuck are y'all talking about? I don't know, man. I was concerned. I, I was don't like, know, man. White guy named Kyle, it could be anything. My name is Daniel, and I'm fucking Russian. Иди нахуй, сука, блядь. Ah, до свидания. До свидания, сука. You see? You guys want to learn some Russian words? Hell yeah. All right. Okay. What all, do you want to know? All I know is two words. Uh, Mushina and Jenshina. That's boy, girl. That's all I know. Oh, what the fuck? You have to learn the cuss words, G. All right, teach me some. All right, tell me what you want to know, and I'll tell it. Tell me, uh, go fuck your mother. How do I see that? Go what? fuck, go fuck your. Hey, hold up. We're gonna we're gonna talk with all the homies because we have Ukrainian, Moldovian, Russian. We have everyone here. One second. Я буду трахать твою маму. Я буду трахать твою маму. Я буду трахать твою маму. Is that a common like diss? Like, what do people diss in Russia? Do they diss families? Oh. Do they diss you? Do they diss where it, you're from? They usually diss you. It's usually like a personal thing. Okay. And they'll be like, they'll be like. That sounds intense. That's a paragraph, yeah. my guy. Yeah, bro, that's like uh, the, the. We're trying that to learn. We're trying to learn the basics. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, guys, guys, that was a sentence. A paragraph. How are you guys switching from cameras to cameras? The same way you're talking a paragraph in a couple of sentences. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Time travel. What about just fuck you? Fuck you is just. That's where we start. Oh, perfect. That's it. You guys are you guys are literally you guys are natural. You just gotta start simple. Appreciate that, dude.